and uh, we're gonna go pack it up and move to the new spot. Well, we're to where we either have to park and walk or try to drive across this. Hike into the secret lake. Yes. I'm Zachary Fowler. And I'm Greg Ovens. And this is the 30 day survival challenge, Canadian Rockies. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch and cook it. The 30 day survival challenge season two, Canadian Rockies has been brought to you in part by Dr. Squatch Soap, Hidden Woodsman Gear, Go Prepared Survival, Outdoor Vitals, Wazoo Survival Gear, Simple Shot Shooting Sports, and Grim Workshop. Check out the link in the description below for the gear video of the 30 day survival challenge. Good morning, good morning. Uh, I slept in again. It's Sunday and I, I knew that. It doesn't matter how many times it happens cause there's, it's almost like there's no Sundays out in the bush, but knowing that at home I get up be there with my littles, make them some breakfast, snuggle on the couch with them and have my coffee and watch uh, some cartoon with them for a little bit and then tubby time and off to church and then a delicious lunch with my friends after church at a uh, Three Dogs Cafe and uh, the afternoon with them and home makes it hard to want to get up and get out and do anything else until I get moving at least let's do that Good morning, sir. Morning. Morning. How'd you sleep? Well, I slept pretty good, but coffee time. Yes, sir. Big hail. Did we get enough of those? We don't have to smoke our fish, we can just put them on ice. <laughs> A little bit of weather. A little bit of weather. Oh, I love adventures. It wouldn't be fun if it wasn't hard.
head blowing over pretty quickly. Yeah. Ooh, that's really good. The go for stew broth. That's good. There's onions in it and the. That's good. Ooh, that's tasty. Go for stew. Yeehaw. Head? <laughs> no, no. Hey, you don't want to go I'm for not that? Big on you guys soak on, suck on the eyeball. There you go. All right. It's definitely a nice change from uh, fish. Oh yeah. These guys are so delicious. They're just, you know, mm. just like rabbit and squirrel. Yep. Same thing. Hardy, wild, wholesome food. This is what they should be serving no in restaurants. Additives. No additives yet, no preservatives, no GMOs, gluten free. Zero carbs. I mean, can you get any more healthy than that? I even stripped them out with the, uh, the lungs right there. I'm not sure. I mean, they've cooked long enough. I don't see it's gonna be an issue, but. I don't know. Eh, meat. <gasps> we try not to waste a thing. Bones all go back in. We'll make a broth and uh, and drink that broth until that's weak and then keep going. And maybe a touch of my favorite seasoning. Thank you, Lord, for gophers. Amen. Liver and onions. If I could go back and tell my kid self that this was going to be good and I'd be enjoying this out in the woods, I wouldn't have believed it. I wouldn't have believed it. Wadobo, just... It goes so well. It's really nice. The link's in the description below. You can get the Wadobo. FowlersMakerInMischief.com The Wood and Beardsman and I collaborated to bring that to production. You going after the head? Yeah. Going for a head. He ate one of the heads. I'm going to give it a try. See how they are. I've eaten fish heads. I've eaten all kinds of stuff. How does that look for appetizing, huh? Maybe we put a little adobo on it. Oh, my head is going to be hard to eat because this is the one I shot right in the back of the skull. So it's all bone fragments. A little bit of meat there. And the brains. Right there. Tastes like liver. Tastes like liver. Oh, the biggest piece of meat is this big old chunk of cheek meat on the head. Just don't look them in the eye while you're doing this. It's, it makes it ar harder. There's the tongue. I'm just, just gonna go for it. Nothing really wrong with it, it just tastes like meat, except for the fact that I just looked his little skull head in the eye while I was doing it. I don't know why that. Oh. Tastes just fine. If this rain would just stop, we can get some more adventure going here. We wanna, I wanted to get some gophers in my slingshot and harvest up my limit of fish before we leave here today, five fish. I mean, they're just little things, but 
we want to move to our new site today and then uh, the next day we'll be hiking up into that hiking lake that the new site is at. Greg and I decided to divide and conquer. I'm going to try and whack five fish here, little ones, so we have something. And he's trying to whack uh, like five out of the river of something bigger if they're down there. But there was a question of them actually being down there, so we decided it was a better idea to divide and conquer on this one. Sinker, foot and a half a line, and a worm on a small hook. I just found this the most successful little rig for right here on these trout. Cast it out and then reel it in slowly, dragging across the bottom. And here we go, we got one. One down. Five to go. Just break his neck and put him on a stick. Oh, don't get tangled in the sticks, little fella. All right, there's number two. Here we go, that's five. All right, let's go see what we can do about some more gophers. Be nice to eat a little bit more than the tiny fish. And uh, we got some time to kill before we move to our new location. Air rifle's having some issues, so I'm gonna try and get some gophers with a slingshot. I think I just have to uh, disassemble the end of the gauge and put it back on with a gasket so that it uh, doesn't leak out its air overnight. It's my fault the air rifle wasn't holding air. Turns out I didn't need to drain all the air before I flew and I was concerned if I showed up and there was pressure in it, they wouldn't let me on the plane with it. So I cracked the seal like you're supposed to, let the air out, but upon doing so, I also cracked a second seal that needed to be reseated and I didn't figure that out for a couple of days. So I'm stuck with the slingshot for now. But it's always been my goal to become an excellent hunter with the slingshot. So that's what we're all about now, but I feel a little jittery. Maybe I haven't had enough to eat, enough nutrients. I'm getting behind on my calories. So hopefully that doesn't throw my aim off. Right, this is right there is where I got the uh, third one yesterday. But I haven't seen any of them popping out of their holes. So we'll walk down to the third spot maybe because of the rain earlier. They're still, still hiding. Or maybe because I'm talking to you. So let's try it without the talking. Well, 
This is painful to watch and takes a serious amount of pride to swallow, not to uh, edit this out of the video, but I just couldn't hit these little guys. And he was, they were right there. Line them up, knock them down, 30 feet away, beautiful distance, perfect little targets, and either I would miss high by about three inches, which is ridiculous for me, or they would literally dodge, like just drop, just like uh, deer jump the string when you shoot at them with a bow. Fast little sucker, he actually dodged it. Well, this might be a little harder than I thought. I won't belabor the point too much, but I waited for a while. I shot again, missed again, shot again, missed again, until I finally said, I just keep missing, it's not my day. Not every day can be a great aim day, I guess. Greg came back, grabbed me up, and uh, we're gonna go pack it up, move to the new spot. I didn't get one with my slingshot, but he got four, four with his 22. It was supposed to be fishing, but uh, well, hey, the fish weren't beg biting. So beggars can't be choosers, right? No, that's right. No, and uh, these gophers are pretty tasty. They are tasty, you know? and these are all big except for one, so yep. it'll be more than what we had yesterday. Yeah, and we'll have uh, plenty of fish to eat through the rest of this adventure for sure, right? I yeah, think so, so. <laughs> something, something else is great. Yeah, you bet. That's a weird one. Greg's like, it looks like a nipple. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> looks like a, I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> a castle turret or something, I was thinking. Yeah, we're getting close to the hike in lake area. It's up in between these two peaks. And we got a ways to go. Well, we're to where we either have to park and walk or try to drive across this. So it looks a little risky. We're gonna try and backtrack and go up and around another road. Yeah. It's just too risky, right? It's like, I don't want to get stuck in the creek. It looks pretty nasty. I think the front end of the truck could get. Well, it could get pushed away. Yeah, it could get pushed away. It's just enough. If it was slower, it might be. Yeah. But. Well, we can't see the obstructions. Yeah, and we don't have a winch and or flood insurance, so <laughs> let's check another path. All right, here's our home for the night. Look at the scenery. Oh, would you look at that? 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 It is gorgeous. Oh, and that's tomorrow's adventure is off in that direction. Right up in that valley behind that waterfall is our fishing destination. Can we make it? Will we make it? Tune in next time to find out if Greg and Fowler make it or die in the trying. <laughs> All right, now I'm hungry for a gopher. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. All right. Me are, too. Where are we gonna put a fire? Well, uh, over this side. Then. Dang it! They're everywhere. A whole forest full of them. I should have done that first.
Get lazy. There we go. Got the bigger ones down. The rest of them just be a headache if they fell on you. <laughs> Wow. And look at the view I'll have out of my hammock when I climb out in the morning. I tried to make it, if I made it further back in the trees, I could have used other trees to set my tarp up further, but I'm tired. I wanted to get her done. Is the camera even picking this up? Look at this. Don't focus on me, focus on the, yeah. Look at the view out my front door. Oh, I'm hungry. Lord, thank you for the gophers and the dock and all your beautiful creation. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to try my dock leaf. It's a little gone by when we picked it, but we picked the smaller one, so I give it a try. The dock's right? Yeah, it's great. It's not as good as in the spring, but... Yeah. Yeah, Greg's spoiled. He knows when the dock tastes better. You'll have to check out Greg's video on his new channel, Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft, if you want to see the foraging and, well, just the other stuff that Greg gets up to when we're not together. So look him up yourself as Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft or hit that link in the description below. His first video will actually be following tomorrow since I am managing the edits on it. We've been having a hard time getting this all organized. And you can see his new channel with his first video Sunday morning. But right now, a hungry man... I think there's even a, there's a verse about that. Something about a to a uh, a full man, even uh, even honey is sour, but to a hungry man, even s sour things are are sweet. And that's pretty sweet. Hopefully, my gopher's not too chewy, not breaking apart like yesterday's little thing. Poor little guy. Delicious, poor, poor, delicious little guy. Oh, this one's tough. Is it? Yeah, I was, I didn't cook it long enough. Top that off the rest of the water from my water bottle. And we'll put that on the fire and gotta wash the hands. I'm not going to bed smelling like a greasy gopher. Oh, come on. You said you wanted to see grizzlies. Yeah, I want to see grizzlies. But not snuggle with them. All right. I am in my hammock. I'm so ready for bed. I am ready to go for bed. As an attempt at the gopher joke, but I am fried. It was a long day. Did all kinds of stuff. Got up to all kinds of stuff. And man, I am so ready to get some rest for tomorrow's big adventure. Uh, it's just going to be... It's going to be nuts. I don't... I can't remember the last time I... Um, under the circumstances, you know, with the amount of calories and things like that, took on such an adventure as this lake in our 30-day survival challenge. So... I'm going to get some rest. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Fowler out.